this is a blog post inspired by Jess Otaku's over on that guy with the glasses uh, review of Digimon Trainers. Yeah, I know. She took, when she was analysing the emotionally, uh, I don't want to say, hate, hesitate to say traumatised, the emotionally stunted character Rika, she was describing, she was characterising in general terms the relationship she, that character had to her Digimon. Uh, one character she said was like, she actually said that when that changed, because uh, initially she said it's like a business relationship where each is exploiting the other, uh, and that's mutually fine. She said when it changed, it became very difficult for her to categorize. And I realized that, and this was a shocking revelation, the English language and in general Western so society doesn't have a word for the concept I'm going to try and describe. A fair weather friend is someone who looks for the good times. When the good times end in one place or with one individual, they move on to the next individual, the next place. I use the term personally, a foul weather friend, as someone who moves in during the problems and once the problems are gone, funnily enough, so are they. This next sort of individual whom I cannot think of a term or a word for and friend doesn't do it justice just hangs around to make people's lives better you can use the term philanthropy I suppose however philanthropy makes it sound like it's just a money thing and in Western society our social engineers whether they be grassroots astroturf or uh, top-down control, uh, like the Rosicrucians were experimenting with uh, in their involvement with the plays of William Shakespeare. These, our, the English language as it stands right now, says that if somebody wants to uplift your spirits or change your mental condition, they're a social engineer, a therapist, some of those overlaps, a teacher, a mentor, uh, a boyfriend or a girlfriend and all these people are asking for something in return uh, family and parents want uh, social an, an easing of social anxiety to say look I'm a good parent I'm keeping my kids happy a therapist wants your money a boyfriend or a girlfriend wants to get in your pants or wants a reciprocation of romance a A teacher wants to get the best result out of the student, at least the way it's currently um, defined. A business partner wants you to see you be productive, so being unhappy is unproductive. The individuals I'm thinking of don't ask for anything in return. Just to know that you're doing better and that they've buoyed you up is enough. It costs them to do it and they don't ask for anything in return. And there isn't a word for it. There isn't a term for it. Our social engineers have defined every psychological illness, including ones that I don't believe properly exist, uh, at least the way they're defining them, that they could think of, and they've thought of a few. And yet, when it comes down to uh, this attitude of loving benefit in others for no return there isn't a term for it in the secular vernacular i mean christian these days has so much baggage i don't even think it really covers it however there is no word for someone who is secular uh who might be an atheist might not who isn't ascribed to a religion we'll just say that and just wants to do good and philanthropy just doesn't do it justice I don't know maybe a good Samaritan maybe not there's just it's just something I'm just realizing there is no word and the people who are supposedly giving us our words have never defined this concept not very well 
maybe a capital free philanthropist an anonymous capital f uh, free philanthropist or a socially shy capital free philanthropist because friend just doesn't cut it I mean yeah and I don't know if it ever will which is probably the scariest thing of all anyway I'm Ozzy Griffin I hope this has given everyone something to think about have a good one